Now the question is, one I want to just mention, John mentions this as the first thing Jesus ever did in Jerusalem. The very first thing is this sign, temple worship is over. That's the sign. Now, he puts it here, and it'll be the sign under which all the rest of the gospel will transpire with other enmities, other signs, and so forth. Now, the synoptics <clears throat> put it at our Lord's entrance into Jerusalem just before his passion. But there's a reason for that. They only record one journey of Jesus to Jerusalem. They couldn't put it anywhere else. Now, but that doesn't solve the problem for us. So, because if this happened at the very outset of our Lord's ministry, you think, because this is disrupting the whole sacrificial system, it's, it's taking on the whole priesthood, it's, and then he would be able to minister for three years before, or two. In other words, we don't know. However, that's not a problem for the ancients. Their idea of space and time is so different than ours. Uh, there are fine books written today about how even at this point, the Arab mentality is different than ours. The idea of having borders that are sort of done by surveyors who said, well, you follow the river, you know, uh, it's just different. The Western mind controls by measuring. And so we have to control everything. If I say to you, I'll meet you Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock, I mean Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. I lived in the East for Middle East for five years. You can say that, but everybody knows it's not going to happen, you know? It's going to be 11.30, 10 o'clock, you know, it's going to be, and you have a cup of coffee, and because, and it's so hard for us, because we're so used to our own system. But it's nice to realize it's not the only system in the world. So, this is a challenging moment. It could have taken place here, at the very outset of our Lord's ministry, it's certainly where John places it. And the synoptics would have no choice but to put it where they do, because that's the only time in their account that Jesus goes to Jerusalem. You see, they build their structure. It's a, it's a theological use of geography, if you will. This journey from north to south, and they string all the incidents along it. And for a while, Jesus crosses the Jordan goes down the other side. That's nine chapters in Luke. Then he goes back across to Jericho and so forth. Um, we don't need all of that to understand this one event, but I think it's important that you realize um, that we're, we're dealing in a mindset different than ours and one that God decided is more apt to mediate his mysteries. Okay.